Before you trade each day, ask yourself this one question. Good day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Big week in the markets, a lot of traders seeing a lot of great results. Today, we're gonna to be talking about asking yourself one question before you start trading each day. Are you selling high or buying low? Now, the last couple videos we've talked very specifically about the 12 candle window and about the timings. Today we're going to just talk about this again in a bit more detail. We're going to go over the week's charts, examples, but I really want you to conceptualize in your mind about when each session opens, how they will put a high and a low in place for that session. That may be actually a high or low for the day. I'm going to encourage you to all look at your charts and start recognizing that one of those sessions will always be the high, one will always be the low. And sometimes in some cases one may be both. But it's really, really important to start understanding when you go to the market, are you selling high or are you buying low? So if you are in a trade or you're about to get in a trade and you know I talked very specifically about our 12 candle window. People have asked about the time, the timings again. How many candles are on my chart? I, I don't know. I just put the time in my eye sessions. There might be 13 candles, there might be 12, but my timings are very specific. 8 to 11 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time, 2 to 5 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time, and 8 to 11 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time. Now that's New York, Europe, London, and Asia. Okay? Now, each day when we come to the market, we might come for London. We may have a high and a low in place for the Asian session. London may open up, or Europe may open up somewhere in this box. Right now, between the low and the high of the day, you want to be either buying low down here or selling high. But at the end of Asia or at the beginning of Europe, if they break out of the box, what that does is in a lot of cases, it gets traders chasing that move in Europe. So again, we talk about our 12 candle window. And I said yesterday that often that first hour is a trap. Okay, now we're going to talk a bit about this first hour of when it possibly is not a trap. But when we break out of the box, in a lot of cases, it's a trap. Now there are variations to this. For example, a couple of Fridays ago, we were up high on the week. We were right at near the high and Asia put a little double top in and dropped down and went sideways at the end of the Asian session and then broke out for a continuation below numbers at the Europe Open. But what it did do is it went one push, two push, and then shifted down. And so in this situation, a lot of traders are tempted to buy down here thinking that they're gonna buy the low of the day. Except that all this is, is a breakout. We don't know if that's the low, we don't know if that's going to not pull back and continue. We don't know if it's going to pop back inside and go back up. So what I want you to understand is in that first hour, we want to wait for this to happen. We had a range established from the high and the low in Asia. We think we're going to buy low, but the market in the next hour may pull back inside. And now we're thinking, oh, right, we bought the low of the day it's going back to the high because we know there's stops up here. All of a sudden it pops back. Well now you're thinking I'm going to short this but you don't know if it's a short yet. What you need to understand is each hour so when New York opens that first hour is a trap. The second hour is the open. Now this is where we want to pay attention because the opening candle of right, could be right here. 
we're down low. We've bought because we think that's the low of the day. And I'm not saying that's a buy. But then the market opens. Now the market might continue up or it might go sideways, breakout pullback, and then shift. Either way. But the open of the market, and by the way, this is a golden trade setup. If you ever see this break below the numbers out of the box, this is a golden setup. We want to wait for the market to open. They've broken out. This move back in is a stop hunt on traders who have shorted the market. They break back down, consolidate, you get your 50 pips. Now we have a London high and a London low. And we've moved 50 pips and 50 pips. Now, again, if we stick to our 12 candle window, I can tell you with absolute certainty that that first hour in a large majority of cases is the trap or the setup. Now, again, I want you to look at your charts and it's very important to understand when we look at this, when we look at the high and low of the day, we want to be paying attention to the high and low of the week. Are we inside? Are we inside of the high and the low of the week? Because again, we want to be trading on the extremes, on, on the extremes of the day. That could be for a continuation or it could be for a reversal. Remember we talked about the three things that markets do. But what I really want to emphasize to you is that three hour window. And again, I said yesterday, pay particular attention to this hour. This is often the trap and people say, well, why, do you, why are you worried about the first hour? Because you don't know what they're going to do in that first hour. They could extend the market out further, which then means that most likely it's a third hour trade setup. Understand all of this, all of your success in trading is going to boil down to the timings, the timings, the timings, the timings. The market opens, they either have a trap or a trade in place already. Most likely it's at numbers. You can print off your charts, go back and look through it. 90% of the moves come off the charts. If it hits the higher, the low outside of those numbers, they've already worked it from those levels. Three push patterns. So we get into our next session. They open up inside again. So we're, we're inside of this 50 pip box. They might come out in New York in, in the pre-market. They might hit the low and then pull it away and work it up. And traders get a, an engulfment pattern here with a pin hammer in that first hour and they go long and they're up here and then the market opens up and what does it do? Bang! It goes right back down to the bottom. And some traders chase this because they think they've got this trend in place and they're selling it with the trend. So we've got a low down here. They hit it one more time, pull it back, jam it into the numbers a third time before giving a pin hammer. They might even do a double pin hammer just to put more heat on you before shifting it back either to the highs of London or straight up through the high of the day. It all comes back to the timings. When you go to the market in this 12 candle window, I want you to ask yourself, Am I at the higher the, the higher the low of the day, the higher low of the session? They might work the bottom of this box three pushes to give a double bottom at the, and stop out traders who are long in London but barely go through it. They might extend the range another 50 pips. If it's a trend trade, that first hour, if we're already down below the numbers, that first hour might be a stop hunt back into the, into the trend for the move back down another 50 pips. Go and look at your charts. Look at that 12 candle window. You will see that every day one of those boxes will be the high and one will be the low. And sometimes they've extended the range either in London or New York, possibly Asia, to put that high or low in place. Very important. These three push patterns which occur on every time frame, including daily, weekly, monthly, 
when you get three pushes, whether it's down or whether it's up, it could be on the 15 minute, when they get three pushes, what that does is it traps traders, it traps volume and they shift it and hit the stops. And then they'll go three pushes in that direction in a lot of cases. Shift it again and sometimes they'll pull back and give it one more hit. Three pushes traps volume, so you want to be paying attention. Over the course of the whole trading day, have they lowered them, lowered the market down into the bottom? And it's, it's, it could be a creeping trend all the way down. That's different than a market dropping 100 pips, consolidating, dropping another 100 pips. That's a trend day. Do not counter trend a very strongly trending day. In most cases, they will punch through 100 pips against your position. But these round numbers, three pushes, price confirming, pin hammers engulfments. If you're not sure what they are, go and look at them on your charts. It's, it's fine for me to show you, and we're going to look at some examples today, but you need to understand what they are and when they happen. Now, also in this pre-market, if you get filled off of numbers, the market comes down, they give you a, uh, an engulfment pattern, this could be a, a bear candle, and they give you a great fill on an engulfment, maybe just at the end of this first hour. Okay, if, if you're getting filled and it's pulled away a long ways away from the price, somebody asked, what do you mean by fighting for a better fill? The further you are away from the numbers, there's two scenarios. One is that it's a trap or you're going to get a better fill price because they will retest the trade in 99% of the cases. So the market can pull back, you can limit order, you can, get in, you can get in at the market, you can figure out what your best fill price was, less the spread. I always fight for at least the spread difference on a trade. So if the spread's four pips or two pips, I'll fight for at least that price alone is a better fill. I know they're gonna come back, they always come back and put heat on the traders who have entered in at market at the close of that candle. Okay, so three pushes, remember, if you can see three pushes, especially when we head into the next session, so we head into the next session, maybe there's only two pushes, that third push is the first hour trapping people in the wrong direction again, and then bang, they hit it on an engulfment, reversal, Sideways one more candle, maybe two, and then bang, they shift it away. Think about what they're doing. They're trapping volume. Each session traps volume. Asia, London, New York. And it doesn't always have to be. It can be sideways. It can be throughout the course of the day. It can be dropping down. It can be moving up. It can be moving up two boxes, and then New York opens, and they shift it back three. They can move it up 50 pips and drop it 100 pips. Start looking at who's trapped. So again, I'm going to really emphasize this. The hour before, if that is the third push, so for example, Asia moves up. We, we get our high and low. The next three hour window, they extend the range. They make new highs, okay? Then in the Europe Open, they extend it one more time on a third push. So we're not talking about a market that's just moving straight up. We're talking about a market that's making new highs and swing lows. It extends out into the numbers, usually double zeros on the third leg. And at the open of Europe, bang, they shift it. 20 pips, and that market falls and keeps falling. And then you're forced to chase it. And the London Open then will often be in that second hour, a stop punt against the traders who are short or long, back to, to put heat on the traders that have the right trade right. That doesn't mean they're going to take out the highs or the lows, but the people who have gone to break even will now get stopped out without taking anything off the table before it resumes that move down off the high or from the low. Now again, if the market moves towards the middle of Asia, so in that, in that second three hour window, they've dropped it 50 pips or moved it up 50 pips and gone sideways and then all of a sudden, before the end of Asia, they've already dropped it 50 pips or 25 and they're moving away when Europe opens, okay? Now you potentially have a trend day already in play. So it's important that you 
understand timings wise have they come off of a high of the week a low of the week whatever that may be traders will chase it back to the extreme to get caught in a market that's never going to go back and it and it trends and moves the rest of the day and that's where our high of the week and our low of the week scenario come into play they might come off the low of the week they might drop it down and take out the low of the week and drop it 50 more pips go sideways and then uh, towards the last couple of hours of Asia they they take off off a three push pattern and an engulfment Europe opens up and goes one two three back against the trend traders go long and then bang they shift it again and it runs away from the low of the week and trends the rest of the session for 300 pips and some of those traders didn't have a stop in place and they just blew out their trading account all this hard work they've done and they blow it out in one trade so very important timings timings we talked about three hour windows you know a lot of questions a lot of confusion I really want you to just pay attention to this 12 candle window and most specifically to when the market opens most of the time that first hour is a trap especially if you can see a one two three in that first hour now if they do a one two three back in London now that could be a one two a doji three inside bar back so you've got one two three four one two three four you're at the end of the second hour well guess what maybe you're in a trend and they're gonna keep going down structure high of the day low of the day what's been happening in the previous session so think about this I'm gonna show you an example and then I want you to go back and look at this and maybe this will really help cement what I'm getting at uh, one of the pairs this week had the London high and the US session lows they went up in the rollover dropped it down just before the BOE okay so this is yesterday this is today BOE London's highs US session lows this is our high of the day this is our low of the day guess where they trapped everybody going into the news right in the middle and what did they do on the announcement? so traders traders might have shorted this or they shorted it up here and they're holding on to it thinking it's going to go back down for a measured move and what do they do bang hit the stops and come back consolidate continue the move down taking out the previous day's lows they hit the stops here they hit them on Asia they hit the stops on all the traders that were long here they hit them here and then they take out the low of the day worked it into the low and kept going start looking at the previous sessions every day when the market opens when you go to your 12 candle window whether that's in the US uh, London or Asia are you selling high or are you buying low if it's a buy low scenario because they've jammed them in over three pushes or in Asia maybe you're in, a, you're in an uptrend and Asia has consolidated and then they're hitting the low they're hitting the low they're hitting the low because they're going long and the market's been long off the bottom already or they've reversed it down and done a creeper and bang you're back long okay look at the structure the big picture of the week the last few days the highs and the lows that's really important and then so when each session starts that first hour did they go did they extend the move out further did they uh, pull back into the range have they stop hunted against the trend or have they stop hunted and broken out of the range breakouts stop hunts whatever you want to call them they're all the same then the, then the hour of the market open what's happening there is there an engulfment is there a reversal have they hit stops already okay if they've hit a high or a low that's called hitting stops they're, they're filling orders then if there's no trade set up off of numbers a reversal a continuation they could be jamming them in over three hours into that third push for the reversal out of there on the third hour trade so if I haven't had a market breakout in that second hour I don't see the trade set up 
and I'm at the high or at the low. And again, make sure you aren't inside of the day's high and low. Classic day yesterday, Pound Australian, new payrolls. They put a high in place, they put a low in place. They drag traders up high, they hit the stops here. They, they stop, hit the stops from the traders who were long in Asia and then pulled it back. Okay, they were completely contained on the inside of the high and the low. Okay, and then they came down in New York to the low of the London session, hit the stops and reversed it. That's called working the low after three sessions, Asia, London, New York, jam in the London volume, hit the stops on both sides, work the bottom, bang, shift the back 50 pips. I hope that makes sense. We're going to look at some examples. Go through your charts, get all the indicators off there. Numbers, your eye sessions box, the time of day, and the high and low. Look where the highs and lows are. Every time a market moves and, it, and it's made new highs and lows, redraw your highs and lows. If you're inside, redraw your highs and lows. That's the new high and low of the day. High and low, market timings, round numbers, three pushes, okay? Pin hammer reversals engulfments. Not just a pin bar by itself out of the blue. What's happened? Is it a second, is it a second side stop hunt? Have they hit it twice and pulled it back right at the open of the market? Is it a trend or a reversal? Those are the things you need to go over. That's your homework for the weekend. If you can narrow your trading time, condense it into that first hour and make sure trade or trap, take one or two trades a week and get really good at them. Okay. If you have a market that's at the low of the day, Pound New Zealand was at the low of the day after payrolls, right after payrolls, low of the day, low of the week. What are you thinking? Reversal. Engulfment on the next candle, 50 pips. Where did they go? Stopped out traders who were short at the end of the uh, 12 candle window at the Europe London rollover. Hopefully that makes sense, traders. It's all about hunting the money. Stay disciplined, stay focused. We'll look at some examples. Have a great weekend. S quit sitting at the charts for eight hours on end and sitting in trades that aren't going anywhere. Wait for the, the moves. Once they shift the market, it's going to move and it's going to be over in an hour. That's, that's what it's all about. They shift it, they move it, there's 50 pips, you're done. Have a great weekend and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.